The question asked was, is there a product comparison between what we offer and what sort of the alternatives offer? The context for this discussion is as follows. We offer an entirely complementary service to the existing fundraising and engagement activities of any community, group or organisation. And just as when you sell a house, you advertise your house by a variety of different mechanisms because you don't know where the buyer is coming from, the same applies with a group and an organisation. You don't know where you're going to engage the community, you don't know where the decision is going to be made to contribute and to support your group and organisation. So what you do is you run a range of online and real world activities which complement each other and the service that we provide is part of that complementary suite of tools that you would use. Having said that, the following slide is a fairly generic high level comparison in general terms so that you can get a feel for this conversation. The, the advantages of online over the traditional real world tends to be a lower cost of fundraising with better returns to the organization. And if you look at the examples of phone banking and how little actually gets back to grassroots, how much goes into gaming machines and how little grassroots and some of the more traditional online fundraising how much is taken out by the middle players compared to the services that is offered here not only is this good for the group and the organization but it's good for the individual as well as it encourages them to contribute more one of the disadvantages with online fundraising has been the creation of the emotional bond with the person contributing because just paying a donation online doesn't really create the emotional bond. In the real world, the ability to create the emotional bond varies quite considerably. If people have just been asked to pay fees and just donate, then that bond isn't really there. Where they're having a lot of fun and engaging in things that are interest them, the bond is there much more. With our service online, the ability to create that emotional bond, to get people engaged, to address the compliance, the accountability, the transparency of funds, to make it relevant, to make it interesting, to allow them to have fun while doing good. All of these things create that emotional bond, get them more engaged. And again, this is good for both groups and organizations and individuals. One of the advantages online is you can extend the reach of your fundraising beyond what is happening just in the room, if you like, in the real world. With traditional online fundraising, this exists, but it's variable and variable effectiveness. Give you a simple example with us. A group or an organization or a business can be running a event, let's say. Let's say it's a dinner and people are at that dinner or, or a luncheon being asked to contribute, buy raffle tickets and predict which table is going to raise most funds or least funds and having a bit of fun in the process. In the real world, that all can just basically take place inside the room and that's it. With traditional 
online fundraising, this ability to do the raffles, the sweepstakes to work out which table is going to contribute the most and that sort of thing is very limited. With us, it's part and parcel, it's the bread and butter. One of the other advantages is the ability to grow and segment the database while engaging younger generations. We've talked about the ability to create groups, to have all of those groups raise funds based on campaigns using different needs and interests highly targeted to the audience doesn't happen anywhere near to the same extent in the traditional real world and the power of groups and campaign based fundraising combined with tipping competitions sweepstakes and those sort of things is barely non-existent in the traditional online the ability to leverage mobile payments and to have fun on your iPhone and your Android doesn't happen very much in the real world and is almost non-existent in much of the online fundraising at the moment. Ease of compliance and of, for fundraising and ease of administration with all of that. As we've discussed before, the level of compliance in the real world is highly variable and much of the traditional online fundraising is not really very compliant. With us, it's fully compliant and there's various videos and presentations to cover at this and we've gone off at length. And the importance of the compliance is it protects the brand of the group and the organization, but it also encourages individuals to engage more. One last point for the organization, though many more exist. You can have the functionality linked to your site with your own brand and your own look and feel. So basically, you get a fundraising engine bolted into your site. It's not available in the traditional real world fundraising and a lot of the traditional online fundraising forces you to use a different site with a different look and feel and you have to use the brand of the service provider. With us, you can use your own brand and it's linked in with iPhone and Android. So that is some features and a simple generic high-level product comparison from the perspective of a group and an organization. Let me come back to this principal point. The service is entirely complementary to your existing fundraising activities and all of the other activities you will need to continue to do to raise funds.